I'm Mark Perkins, the team lead for laboratory networks at WHO and the Health Emergencies Program. As we've already learned in Module 2, WHO has released a practical guide for UN country teams, the operational planning guidelines to support country preparedness and response. This guide is intended to provide immediate support to governments and partners in implementing their COVID-19 country plan. This applies during the period from now until April 30th. We've seen that the country guidelines are structured along eight key pillars of the public health response with underlying actions for enhanced country preparedness. The focus today is Pillar 5, National Laboratories. With this video, we will detail the three levels of actions included within this pillar and describe what each implies. This is relevant at country level or sub-country level for UN country teams, governments, and partners. The goal is that after this video, you're able to conduct your own assessment using the WHO online planning tool for COVID-19. In Module 2, we covered several high-level actions of Pillar 5. We've seen that countries should prepare laboratory capacity to manage large-scale testing for the virus causing COVID-19, and that if testing capacity does not exist at national level, samples can be sent to a regional or international referral laboratory with appropriate capacity. We also noted that in the event of widespread community transmission, surge plans should be activated to manage the increased volume of samples from suspected cases. WHO can provide support to access relevant referral laboratories, protocols, reagents, and supplies. Let's now detail each of these three actions at the levels of prioritization. In the first level, we advise countries to establish access to designated international COVID-19 referral laboratory appointed by WHO. Countries will need to adopt and disseminate standard operating procedures as part of disease outbreak investigation protocols for specimen collection, management and transportation for COVID-19 diagnostic testing. It is critical that laboratory experts identify hazards and perform a biosafety risk assessment at participating laboratories. Please refer to WHO biosafety guidelines specific for COVID-19 virus. In parallel to these actions, we advise all countries to adopt standardized systems for molecular testing supported by assured access to reagents and kits. WHO can give advice in this regard. In the second level, key actions include collecting specimens and shipping to laboratories in the referral network. We advise that all countries share genetic sequence data from the virus and other materials according to the laboratory terms of reference. This document describes how laboratories should share information and materials. For timely data analysis, countries are advised to develop and implement plans to link laboratory data with key epidemiological data. In anticipation of potential widespread COVID-19 transmission, it is also important to develop and implement surge plans to manage increased demand for testing and consider conservation of lab resources. These surge plans should consider staffing, supplies, reagents, and resources required. Third level actions include monitoring and evaluating diagnostics, data quality, and staff performance. The findings should be incorporated into a strategic review of the National Laboratory Plan we should share our lessons learned. Lastly, we advise countries to develop quality assurance mechanisms for the testing they perform, for example, proficiency testing or external quality assurance for polymerase chain reaction. Now that you've watched this video, you should be able to describe each key action in Pillar 5 and be ready to assess whether each has already been or needs to be implemented at a country or sub-country level. It's important to keep in mind that the actions presented in this video are a guide and should not supersede existing national guidance and plans. It should be used to rapidly adapt existing relevant national plans and accelerate preparedness. For more information, you may access the operational planning guidelines in the additional resources section of the training platform. You are now ready to begin the assessment using the WHO online planning tool for COVID-19. Thank you for watching this video.